Welcome back to Big Fish Little Fish Aquatics. Today we're looking at the Neon Tetra, one of the smallest and most striking tetras available within the hobby. Not to be confused with the uncanny resemblance of the Cardinal Tetra, the red bar of a neon generally stops midways along the fish's body, around the caudal fin, whereas the Cardinal's red bar can be seen from nose to tail. So the Neon Tetra is part of the family Charusin or Charusidae. This is a large group of more than 2,000 different species and it includes fish such as the Piranha, Pyara and Black Widow Tetra. In the wild, Neon Tetras can be found in both black water and clear water streams in the Amazon Basin, through Colombia, Peru and Brazil. Interestingly, Neons can turn down their bright colours to avoid predators detecting them and especially do that when they're sleeping and even if they're feeling sick. Neon Tetra is a small fish, reaching a maximum size of around 4 centimetres, with females being slightly larger of the two. Sexual dimorphism is possible to notice with the female's iridescent blue bar being slightly bent compared to the male's straight bar. The average lifespan is around 4 to 5 years in an aquarium, however these little fish can live as long as 10 years of age given the right aquarium conditions. Neons are shoaling fish and should be kept in groups of at least six, but you'll arguably get a more natural behaviour shown if you keep them in groups of ten or more. With a shoal of six neons, you'll be looking for a minimum of a ten gallon aquarium, which is around 40 litres. But if you wish to keep them with other tank mates, I would suggest that you're going to need a larger aquarium too. Neons come from naturally soft acidic water conditions so they will appreciate a hardness of less than 10 degrees general hardness and a carbonate hardness around 2 to 4 degrees. Make sure you aim for a pH between 6 and 7. Now most neons are captive bred in all kinds of conditions, so rest assured that if your water matches your local fish shop, 9 times out of 10 you're going to be alright, but just make sure you ask your shop what their parameters are, just to make sure that yours match. Aim for your tank temperature to be between the range of 22 to 24 degrees Celsius, a bit on the hotter end if you're looking to breed your neons. Now despite the bright colorations, neons actually prefer tanks with dim lighting, and that's especially when breeding as well. But given enough plant coverage, they will thrive in a brightly lit aquarium too. And as I've alluded to, heavily planted tanks with some open swim spaces would be appreciated by your neons. Neons are remarkably energetic fish, and when you take the time to watch them, you'll notice how a shoal will bicker and squabble to settle the hierarchy and the small pockets of territory that some of them may claim. They generally will mind their own business hanging out within the dense plant life. But when it comes to diet, neons are more omnivores and are not what you would call a fussy eater and will indulge themselves with flake and small sinking pellets and appreciate a live or frozen offering such as Daphnia, brine shrimp or bloodworm. Be cautious though when you are feeding bloodworm you may need to cut those up because the larger bits they may struggle to eat. When neons are young they will benefit from having a feeding around two, two times a day, little and often. Then once they fully matured if you wanted to you could decrease the feeding amounts to just once per day. Now when it comes to tank mates neons are very peaceful and will rarely bother your other fish. The general rule is to not house them with any aggressive or larger fish, so avoid fish such as large cichlids, such as an angelfish or a blue acara, large mouth catfish like pictus catfish. Good tank mates however would be other smaller fish such as other small tetra like the rummy nose or black widow, peaceful barbs like the golden barb, and you could also have them in with small gourami such as the dwarf or honey gourami. Despite their peaceful nature, many fish keepers have opted to keep just a shoal of neons in their beautifully aquascaped aquariums. The opportunities are endless with neons, but as always, make sure you do your research on any tank mates you would like to add with them. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.